this is Carly from On One Studios, and you're watching Go Off. A lot of things inspire me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, is this dance related only? I'm assuming it's dance related only. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm currently like undergoing my process to establish like my sense of artistry. And so for me, I'm very much about like interdisciplinary and like intercultural arts. So I'm literally inspired by everything. Literally anything. Like it could be um, like regular art on paper or poems or music. I think music has always inspired me. So one of the, the biggest things is like visual art, going to museums inspires me a lot. Um, just seeing all the like the visuals and the textures and stuff like that. Um, like different forms of music, the way different beats are constructed, um, all the layers, the, the, the snares, uh, the bases, like all, all one on top of each other. Because I've seen YouTube videos where they're making music and they pick one thing and they layer another one and another one and another one. Like, I think that's super cool. Um, they all help me put out what I want in terms of like just dancing or how I want to move. What inspires me or who inspires me at the moment are the students that go to uh, Urban 2 and 3. Like, they just work hard. Makes me want to work. Um, at the moment, I just met a new uh, teen student in our K-pop teens class and she inspired me because I asked her what her goals were coming to class and I just loved that she was so fired up and she had so many goals already like about musicality, retention, and um, oh my god, what was the other thing? There was like, <laughs> she was so fired up, retention, musicality, oh freestyling, that was a big one that I really liked, especially coming from K-pop too. <laughs> that just, she came in wanting to do more. <laughs> um, well, obviously because I teach, has to be my students, the, especially the ones that come in multiple times, like more than three times, because I'm surprised that you're not, or they're not tired of me, or they're not annoyed, because in class, I just, I'm a goofball, so I appreciate that. Also, like my students really do. Um, similar reasons, like just seeing them come to just classes other than my own as well. Because like when I started dancing, I took maybe like Monday nights and whatever I was doing with Hollow One, the dancing in college. Uh, so I wasn't like making an effort to take a ton of classes like the students here are now, my friends are now. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing that's inspiring me lately, just because I feel like I've been pretty lazy. So, <laughs> yeah. I work with kids. Um, and so I think on a daily basis, regardless of what happens in the environment where I work with them, um, I'm always inspired by them, which sounds kind of crazy. Even when they make me mad, I'm like, oh, like learn how to be patient, figure out how to be like a better person for them. Um, but I started like a dance club at my school and um, the kids who, there were a couple of new kids one week and they had learned a routine the previous week and the kids who were like super nervous the first week ended up teaching um, the kids the next week. And I think stuff like that just like deeply inspires me because not only was it freaking adorable, but um, they were super duper excited to share and to like grow together and they weren't nervous. In terms of who inspires me? Um, I can't really pinpoint a person per se, but I think in class at least, some of my instructors really inspire me because um, they just like try to push you and try to make you better all the time. And they're tired because they're screaming, <laughs> or not screaming, but they're counting while they're trying to teach you all the moves. Um, and they're trying to encourage you at the same time. Honestly, Sam, 
Sam Yoshi. Sam Yoshikawa. Um, there was one time when uh, Ren and Fam asked me to help film his um, video that he was trying to do, like a concept video. And from what he did there to what he does now, I've seen his growth. Yeah, I, he's gonna do big things. It's very specific, but um, I think it's Larisa or a Bello. Like someone who comes to mind would be Larisa. Like she's always really high energy, like really energetic. Um, she always brings a really good vibe to class and that really inspires me. Well, she does like all kinds of styles and I love that about her. Um, I never would have thought to try house, but she does more of like contemp hip hop and sassy style, so. I think here at the studio, it's definitely Larisa and Nate because outside the studio, we're also friends. So it's nice to see like how they are outside of the studio, but also how much they teach us here at the studio. And they're both just so crazy, like with dancing. And they're two of my top favorite people. I love to see dance. Um, in terms of who, I'm gonna say Jalen P. Um, currently really inspires me. I think it's just, it's cool that he's able to like create basically, and I'm sure a lot of people can agree with this, his own style um, and really kind of hone in on that and then call himself special and then it really, it's really working and I'm really, really, I look up to that because like I want to be that, you know, and it's cool that he's able to like go to SoCal and like start um, his career and trying to go for that. So I think he can make it and it's something to look up to. Honestly, like for me, I when I first came to the studio, um, my biggest influences were actually like the mentors at um, from the On One K-pop community, just because um, I was kind of junior going in, and then they've really taught me most of like my foundations and everything. But uh, inspires me my friends. A lot of my friends who go to the studio go way more often than I do. Um, and they're improving so much. Um, my friends that I've been dancing with for over 10 years that still dance, it pushes me to also continue to dance. I'd have to say my dance friends back at home in Virginia, just because they, I always see like videos of them, like pushing themselves and taking class and like, for all these showcases and stuff like that, so it makes me feel like I want to keep up with them, even though I'm not quite there. Cheesy answer is like my parents also drive me because like I see them work really, really, really hard, like to give me a better life. So, uh, yeah, those are the main two right now. At the moment for dance, I'd say my brother inspires me a lot. He's really good. He's just good at dancing and choreography, and it just comes natural to him, and I hope I can be like that one day. Um, Inspired-wise, I don't think I have anybody particular right now. Um, it was always been my sister who inspired me because she was a Warriors girl. So I liked how she was able to balance dance and work. So like she was a, she worked in the daytime as an engineer and then nighttime she was a dancer. So like now me as a teacher, um, I'm also a teacher at night for dance and then daytime teacher for math. So inspired wise, yeah, I don't, I just, a lot of people inspire me, so there's not really anything particular. Um, just the idols I've had since basically I got into dancing uh, and like seeing where they are now from where they started. Like I used to just watch certain people on like YouTube and hope and like they would like push stuff out like every like month or two and like nowadays they're just they're professionals like traveling everywhere so I'm like like it's inspiring to they inspire me to like go as far as I can with whatever I love you know. Um, outside like bigger choreographers, I want to say currently I'm really inspired by Sora Yang especially like with all of her new line that just came out, um, the message behind it was just so uplifting. But yeah, that's pretty much. Mm, I've been looking at a lot of um, like LA industry dancer Instagrams. So I've been really into like Ariana Grande's backup dancers. <laughs> um, there's really no specific person. Well. Um, Billy Sok, she inspires me a lot. I love the way she moves. 
I really look at uh, like Kyle Hanagami, who was one of the first uh, like choreographers that I watched too. Um, and then I forgot her name, but she's like a really good dancer. And um, I remember watching, oh, Gilly Hooks, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go, I forgot. Um, I remember watching the first dance from her, which was Bury a Friend. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna be that cool. So, yeah. <laughs> so like, Jozar Alva, I think that's his name. He has taught a Monday night workshop, like maybe a few years back, but I really want him to come and take, or to teach here again. Right now, it has to be Taryn Cheng from GRV. Her control is just amazing. And, oh, I wanna have the same control as her. And she inspires me a lot. Um, also, there's that one guy. He also taught on Monday night. His name was Bong Buno. I've been really into like his like dancing lately. Oh, okay. So I mean, Isabel Capitula. She is my like top one favorite dancer. She. I wish I wish I could move like her, but I know that she's been training since she was like a little kid. So kind of wish I started sooner, but right now she is my inspiration because just how her body moves and how confident she is. And of course, like, she's a, a bad bee. <laughs> well, you guys can see it, I guess. Pretty like self-explanatory uh, King Jazz. Uh, I saw like that video on YouTube and I was like, oh damn, I want to like dance like them. Like they're all like, I don't know. I just started to watch that video on YouTube and I didn't like, Really have like any interest in dance before, and then just like they give me like you know this like little push, and that's how I got into dance. And my biggest inspirations for the past couple of years would probably be um, Mechnoon, Chris, and Larkin. Like their their theatrics, their storytelling, um, and just their openness to connect with the people around them really like push me to want to do this thing. Also, Candice Brown. Those are my answers. <laughs> my dance inspiration is literally every dancer out there that's putting in their 10,000 hours to improve their craft, their skills, their brands. Um, other than that, oh, the other thing that I think that really inspires me is when people um, do projects together based on like a concept that they want to develop. Um, I think that's really inspirational because they can create something on their own. Like I've never been a super creative person myself. I've been like a math science kid. Um, so then in Crump, like they, you know, they don't have crews, they call it like a fam, right? And so there's this guy in one, like in my fam who he has students, um, he's from Santa Rosa. Uh, and this one kid, his name's Julian, AKA Junior Rugged Drowsy, AKA Baby AO, yeah, um, and he's, uh, yeah, he's just killing it. But I watch everything that he posts, like he's been posting like heck of videos and just, yeah, he, he's better than me, he's, he's better than me right now. Yeah, and so seeing that, like, you know, he's just, he's a kid, he doesn't care, he's just expressing himself. And then like, I don't know, I feel like that gives me perspective as like an adult, because like I think hella much about everything I do. Yeah, so just seeing his level up is like helping me like keep myself motivated. Yeah, keep going, yeah. Well, I guess, like, my team, right? At the moment, at, like, this very moment, I would say my teammates, because, like, I'm around them so much, like, probably, like, four days out of the week, so it's so hard, like, not to get their energy, like, every day, so. So then I can't really not be inspired, you know what I mean? Or else I won't get any better, and I'll get left behind, and no one wants that. My teammates in Gobstoppers, I think they're really amazing, like especially after workshops when I watch them, they catch the choreographies a lot faster than I do. And they've been in the field a lot longer than I have. So like, um, I really look up to all my friends. Um, currently at the moment, I'm inspired by our directors, Walter Tran, as well as Kevin Brias of Gop Stoppers. Dance related, who inspires me? Um, well, right now, I guess Chocolate Factory inspires me, uh, just because we're in like comp season. Um, set building and stuff. It's, a, it's, a, it's like inspiring to see how hard other people work um, and how we work as a team and how we dance together versus how we dance individually. Like, because uh, I dance with a lot of people like in class um, and 
class is more like an individual effort, uh, but in like the team setting, uh, it's cool to see how we dance together and like we try to match each other and um, in that kind of setting. So I'm pretty inspired by the team right now. I would say um, my director, Mappy, uh, Michael Mappy Mupala, um, he really just inspires me to keep going and he created Redefine and it's just been like such a journey to see like where it's come from the beginning to now and it kind of always tells me that like as long as you keep pushing and as long as you keep striving towards your goal you can always make whatever. And also because I'm currently training with AOV it definitely has to be that group as well because they're freaking they're freaking crazy <laughs> yeah they're monsters so i'm also trying to be a monster i want to be like right them at the moment ooh, is it bad to say myself <laughs> no. honestly my passion to like get better at dancing um because when i started i was not very good <laughs> so watching those videos always inspires me to like get better oh before i started dancing i would just look at like youtube videos and just think oh i would love to do that one day but i don't know if i really can do that um and so you know just the fact i'm here at the studio now and and you know just trying to work on my own craft and grow myself is, is really a blessing my need to like or my want to be better a better dancer constantly because i'm being surrounded by dancers every single day and they just push me basically to be a better dancer and wanting to be at their level too first and foremost especially in like the last like a few months like me like honestly like just coming from someone who like you know i know that sounds like a super like you know egotistical thing to say but then like coming from the perspective of like someone who like you know i used to be just like scared to do anything so then like i'm just really like yeah proud of myself for yeah showing up getting stuff done um. i hope it's not a cop out to say like the community but it's really the community because of like literally everyone sorry i'm so nervous that i don't even like know how to articulate myself right now i'd say it's the community you know every time i go take class it's like you see everybody just out here and you can feel them being hungry to learn more to get better and to me that's like that makes me want to get better because it shows that like if everyone else has that determination you know i should be able to have that same drive too you know even on the flip side there are people who are still like just starting out as dancers and it's really inspiring to see them come to class ask like really good questions um and like not only they're not only there like for themselves too but like you see people like come with their friends and you see everyone like really encouraging each other at the studio or like and so I think that's really cool and that's what inspires me to not only work harder so that I can like become the best version of myself but also hopefully like inspire others too. At the moment, oh, okay, it's gonna be the cheesy answer but I really think like uh, it's everyone here at Boost because I think what makes this place so inspiring is you see people like if it's the students you see them commit to taking class, even if they have you know, jobs or extracurriculars, they always come here and they're always ready to dance. The mentors, I'm always looking at them to see what I can apply to my own classes, see how their teaching styles, you know, um, what the students like about that. And then just seeing even like the staff, even, even you guys, like just seeing people pursue things and do things creatively, you know, that's uh, very inspiring. So at the moment, it's, it's those people. 